Welcome to another episode of Titan PI TV on YouTube, but also Titan PI TV on podcast. We're looking at the inside workings of a live operational investigation agency, that being here, Titan in Derby. On these short episodes, we'll be discussing things which we think are educational about our industry, but also areas which are interesting. Today, we're going to focus on a service type, and it is lie detection or truth validation. So, formally, lie detection was in the form of polygraph. With polygraph, seven of your sensory areas <clears throat> are connected to a machine which makes lots of distracting noises and basically works out whether you're lying or not from three questions. I detect is the truth validation that we use and it has superseded the polygraph. And the reason it's superseded it is because it takes 30 minutes instead of a minimum of an hour and three quarters for the polygraph. It is a lot more mobile. It's cheaper, it's as accurate, so 92 to 96% uh, and the results are instant. So the way I detect works is <clears throat> you will have a keyboard in front of you and a mouse and then a monitor. At the bottom of the monitor are two cameras which once you're set up as a, a candidate for the lie detection test, those cameras will be set up and they'll be watching your pupils. <clears throat> they'll be uh, measuring the minutest change in your pupils and it will ask you to lie at certain points and it will ask you to tell the truth at certain points so it knows what your lie response is in your pupils. So previously we would have gone over the three questions with you. So for example, if it is um, an infidelity test it might be, since you've been with your partner have you had sexual contact with any other person? Since you've been with your partner, have you had sexual intercourse with any other person? Or it could be more specific. So at the Christmas party in 2024, did you kiss one of your colleagues? But there are only three questions. But the way we can word them, so like in question one and two, that covers an array of possibilities. So it might be that you come to us as a client specifically wanting to know about this, that and the other. But you can cover that in one question by saying have you had sexual contact with anybody else since you've been with your current partner done so we don't need the specifics unless the specifics are really important to you so the specific one can be question three these are also used a lot for corporate cases so it might be for example there is a burglary at uh, a business premises and it just so happened it was at a time when it was maxing out stock the only people that would know that it was had so much stock in it at that time were employees, so the suspicion is it's an inside job. We can then, as long as each candidate sitting the test is willing, we can then sit them down and we can get through eight in a day. So it's a lot quicker than the polygraph, because with the polygraph you could probably only do three a day. We can get through a minimum of eight. So if you've got a number of suspects in a company, for example, and you think one of them may be responsible, or partly responsible for the burglary, then we can get through a number of them. So the test, once we've um, arranged the three questions, the, the software will uh, create a number of statements that you answer true or false to. At some points, like I said to earlier, it will ask you to lie. So it is learning your lie response. And at other times, it obviously wants you to tell the truth. So it might ask you, does 2 plus 2 equal 4? And you would put true or false. Obviously, it's true, so it's learning your lie response in your eyes. So is it possible to beat a lie detector test with eye detect? So you know you're lying, would you pass? The answer is no. So I am very familiar with the eye detect equipment, so I'm relaxed around it. Every day when I come into the office, I try and beat it. And it always knows I'm lying. So for me, it's 100% accurate. However, limitations have to be brought into the equation and it's been worked out as 92 to 96%. But to put your mind at rest, if you're lying, you will not pass. Which comes on to the next point. In June, we have done 10 tests. <clears throat> eight of those people that have turned up knew that they were lying and thought they might be able to beat it. So we've had eight people that have failed. 
but we've also had two people which has passed. So I don't really understand why an individual would come when they know they're going to fail. It's £480 for the test. It's an additional £60 if you want us to come to your address. All of our lie detection tests are done from our Derby office. But like I say, we will come to you and it's an extra £60 on top of the 480 If you're not going to pass it though, don't come and sit the test because you will get found out. So that is I detect lie detection or truth validation. If you want to know more about it, please log on to www.titaninvestigations.co.uk and click on the services tab and I detect or lie detection. So as always, give us a thumbs up or subscribe to the channel so you don't miss further episodes or download our podcast where you download your podcast from as Titan PI TV. Thanks again for listening. That's another episode wrapped up. See you next time.